Hi, my name is Candy Spangler, and welcome to this edition of Short Girl Problems. Today, we're going to be talking about how to handle a large adventure bike and moving it around when you're short in stature like me. I'm five foot three. I am a fairly strong person, but you don't necessarily have to be. Um, most women uh, have very strong legs and uh, we don't have the upper body strength that men have. And so what I like to do is utilize the strong muscles in my legs when I'm moving a bike around as opposed to trying to muscle the bike around uh, like a lot of guys do. So here we are in my garage and behind me here is the R1250GS. Uh, this bike is 549 pounds uh, with a you know full tank of gas without anything else attached to the bike. So it's pretty heavy. Um, but what I'm going to do, it's up on its center stand right now, the way we have our bikes stacked in our garage and there's three motorcycles and typically two cars in a two car garage. Um, we have to get pretty creative and so we're moving in confined spaces and uh, we have bikes pretty much anywhere we have space. So along the wall here we have uh, two motorcycles and it takes a little bit of maneuvering to get them in place and then get them up on center stand. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get the 1250 off center stand and I'm going to move it out here and I'm going to show you the technique that I use as a short person not using upper, upper body strength uh, to move this bike around. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab a couple of handholds. So on this bike, right here on this rear rack, uh, if you don't have a rear rack, the BMW rack has a nice handle right here that's been removed on this bike. Um, but here, just find a solid contact point to, to get a hold of the bike. Uh, the other contact point that you want to have is up here on the handlebar because you want to be able to steer the bike and control it. So the first thing we're going to do is pop it down off center stand. And what that's going to require is me pulling on this, not like this using arm strength, but rather my arm is extended all the way out. So I'm really still using my legs. It's just my hand is hanging on. If I were doing it like this, this would be more arm strength. By doing it this way, I'm actually using more leg strength. And really we're just trying to keep the bike up on balance point. And by balance point, I'll show you this in just a second. It's just keeping the bike centered so it doesn't want to tip one way or another. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it ready here, keep it up on center stand, uh, keep it up on uh, the balance point. So right now I can easily let go of this bike because I have it up on, on balance point, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this bike out and you're going to see me kind of throw my hip into the bike. And I'm going to show this to you as I get a little closer to you. But I'm steering with this hand. I'm not actually muscling this bike around at all. And I'm just going to ease it out here. Again, my arm back here is extended. I'm not using arm strength. I'm using leg strength. And the key to moving a big bike around is honestly, if you look at my hands, right? is actually keeping the bike in contact with my hip. And this is all leg strength and keeping the bike relatively at its balance point, slightly into me. So it's not a ton of weight, it's just enough weight to know that I'm, I've got control of the bike. So again, I've got my two handholds. I'm gonna move this around mainly. This is why you need a bigger garage. All right, I'll come back into the center here. All right, so as you can see, I'm pulling the spike around using here. And here, when I go back, I'm actually using my hip. Again, keeping it on the balance point, this bike is not that heavy. If you keep it on the balance point, this bike is not that heavy. So the key to moving it around, again, is getting that hip right against the seat, no hands mop, and then steering here, not muscling, just steering, 
And then this right here is a great way to pull forward and your hip is actually pushing back. So I can do this all day long and it doesn't wear me out at all. So now I'm gonna put this bike back and get it into position. And I'm gonna show you how I put it up on the center stand. Um, this is a great thing to practice when it's a rainy day. Uh, if it's winter time, um, you know, clear the cars out. So if you do drop it, it's not a big deal, but get comfortable moving your bike around. I know that these big bikes are very intimidating at first, um, but once you get the hang of using your hip, using your legs, because us women, we've got nice strong legs, not necessarily strong arms up here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this into position. All right. One more little jockey here and we should be good to go. position. It's close to the wall, out of the way. And I know this is going to be a little hard to see, but the bike is balanced. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down to where I feel it teetering on both of the legs of the center stand. And then once I know that it's well seated on both legs, again, that's after just rocking it a little bit, I'm going to stand straight up and put all my force down on that. And at the same time, I'm going to pull the bike up towards me. Again, this is more about leg and using your body weight on that center stand. So that's how I move a big adventure bike around. Um, that is it for today's... Uh, Short girl problems. There are a lot of short girl problems that I have, so expect several more videos over the next several weeks. If, um, if there's something in particular that you wanna see, uh, even if I don't know how to do it, I'll do some research. I've got a lot of short friends who are excellent riders. Um, but uh, send me an email at uh, abtricks2.com uh, that's A is an Apple, V is in Victor, T R I X, the number two at yahoo.com. I'll answer your questions, or maybe I'll even do a video on uh, the question that you're asking. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Right on.